two, I like to try and eventually swap them out offense defense. So you have the offensive one who's blood sure hands, and you have the defensive one who's wrestle tackle. And it gives you, it frees up your werewolves from having to do those jobs. Which means you get a lot more guard pieces that aren't having to fill in the role that you don't want to fill in. Oh, hey, best, the best possible matchup. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> well, at least Jim gets to actually buy a wizard this time. No. No wizard. You're wrong, Chaney. Okay. It's funny Chaney's how the, the, the Woodies... I don't think the Woodies have ever been down TV. And I don't think the Necro have ever been up TV. <laughs> That's what happens if you start a team on anything other than day one of the season. It's... It's crap, isn't it? I mean, even when I was benefiting from it, it was still crap. It was crap for everyone who was having to play me with fucking 1900 <laughs> wood elves and just hoping they can do some damage. The fact that EV Plus also isn't working the way it's supposed to, whatever, however it is working. I'm so used to kicking with the woodies, I want to carry on kicking, but I guess I should receive and hope he concedes. <laughs> Ideal. Cheney's, Cheney's won me a couple games before. He's really, really good. I know Fact doesn't rate him so high because he doesn't have dodge, he has like wrestle, which doesn't really work well with his claw or his catch skills, but they all kind of work together. Or more accurately, they don't work together, but they all give you a whole bunch of different tools. Like, they give you a catch player you normally wouldn't have. They give you a sacker, which you normally wouldn't have. Frenzy guy, which you normally wouldn't have, and it's pretty safe frenzy because he has wrestled, so it all combines together to be a very versatile and useful player. Eight. And armor value 8 with region, so he's not quite so easy for teams to just rando Kaz off the game. Norse runners were called catchers, and they're still called catchers again, even though they don't have the catch skill and no one takes Norse throwers. Also disgusting and a problem. This raw with blodge movement is weird. Um, offset setups are what people do when they're they're trying to both protect their players and also prevent two turns. I'll never get them. Like I've seen dwarves do it, Camry do it. It's just it's what really slow teams do when they're really scared against them. So they give them all the space in the world so that they don't have to protect their players and can just kind of do whatever they want with the ball. He loads the rando block that gets the removal. Good thing he had Thick Skull instead of Armor Value 8. Only KO'd. So, oh. I mean, all that running in the injury box.
Anarian strats, vanity passing. Had to use the catch, didn't I? Glorious. Of course, there's a problem with this kind of setback because it's now that he's like, oh, I can just base all men's. His players are too far away to base all men's. I know that's a safe one in 36, but you've got strength five, block mighty blow. You should three. You should be three dicing all the time. There's no reason not to. Extra strength five. That you won't even be like taking a player out of position necessarily to do it. Because it's just tedious. Squirrel dude, the horrendous Blood Bowl player that has very firm opinions about things which he knows very little of. Entire team back, and it's like, oh, time to just literally just base all men's. Okay. But it's blood, so it's never gonna be knocked down. Strength 6 Tomb Guardian will be hard to hit just because it'll be a commitment of players. But Janie is Strength 4, and he has Claw, so it's not impossible. I need to pass the Ghoul, gained 1 SVP, and we'll be leveling up, and we'll be. He doesn't die, which is a big if. Uh, we'll be getting blocked in the next game. A uh, zombie with a disgusting 4 plus roll, but it can't fail to make 3 plus, of course. Kill kills himself. Plus dodge easy, 3 plus dodge fail into death. Not better. Tomb Guardian is nicely planted on a zombie and will hopefully be there for at least 3 more turns. Being away from the blood. block and be free to move around in the coming turns. Never know. Powered on Tomb Guardians. didn't work on the shit player, but worked on the good one, so the white will still be around, but the zombie who has replacements won't be. He had three dice block, but he's just gonna roll a pow with two dice. Then stunned the ghoul, which is pretty great. Properly, the throw raw and the where he's going to go and base the ball. 
a GFI in the face. Basically. Already probably required a dodge. Oh, he's he's gonna. <sighs> Did anything other than ampent basing of the ball, but I was hoping for just. Sorry, everyone. Potential, just run straight up the middle, dodge everyone out, play, and supposed to. is based only with the Tomb Guardian. Move the throw raw and the skeleton that he used to extra base the ball cage that Jim would be forced to both either dodge out with the carrier or deuce and or blitz him off and then not be able to make any forward progress and then continue constrict with the Tomb Guardians which have now that he has two removals gone are gonna have an even greater strength strength advantage. Instead if he wants it, is a really shitty, but potentially kind of scoring. Blitz off the Blitz Raw, and then run everyone down the middle, because you're Kimri and you're shit and slow. Super keen. He's also, of course, allowed to surf on his Lodge Blitz Raw, which doesn't seem ideal. And Mighty Blow hit into... got better. Got better. Disappointing. Yeah. Old random stunts. Armor value seven. Actually, being armor value seven is pretty nice. to the werewolf. Dodge overpowered. Um, you cannot kill unless you start with it. It's an extraordinary skill like Bloodlust, uh, Nurgle's Rot, other one that I'm for decay that you cannot. Uh, there are a couple others that I'm forgetting, but those are skills you simply cannot ever take. Decay, but you can't take it. Bloodlust, for that matter. I like Andy Davo, mindless farming of passes with agility three players. After, like, all of the misplays that have happened so far, so... It doesn't roll a pow. Good. The Blodge throw raw build so that Jim can only form a cage in safety as a poke into the space already. So, not 
on also Cheney, so that's great. Right, I was just making some food there. Um, what's happened? That was funny, that wasn't it? The surfer. Can't believe it worked. Um, and he's just good, decided to leave his, his other blodge thrower right up there. You can also just blitz off his tomb guardian and just run the whole team up. I, I don't know. I I'm not super keen on this defense. I don't no. think I've made that clear enough yet. I'm gonna do this. And then make a loner blitz. Because that seems like. Don't need to move, do I, this turn, turn four. But this would be a lot of fun to do. That's not a. Uh... <laughs> it's not a chain. I don't know why I thought I could magically chain. started working but I guess at the same time his rando terrible vanity passes started working. I've got I've gotta be allowed to uh I've gotta be allowed to surf uh, when I'm using <laughs> using necro. You can, if you're not uh, you know I can't, I can't follow the sheep using necro you've got to when you've got wolves you've got to go for surfs haven't you pretty good zombie dodge out now it's okay Kimry, who started the, the drive off with like a two player advantage, are now down to six men. This is eight. No, I'm sorry, nine. That's, that's pretty good. For no reason. The best defense. Doesn't just turn into a stun when they get knocked over. Lastly, this will be the qualifying team. The only question is whether or not he'll have two flesh golems, or he'll, whether or not he'll have to keep spending all of his money on wizards. Has finally hidden the. He's trying to hide the players now by forming this weird crescent and is keeping his players not, you know, and then two squares off the sideline. just good enough. Using their bullshit called like movement eight to run around and possibly just slow Kimry. And with three rerolls and four turns to go, doesn't reroll a one and nine block. If you don't have three rerolls at the end of a half, what are you doing?
But what if I had re-rolled in a double skull? A 9 to a 1 and 36, and we're able to move your zombie so he'd be up in a position. Just roll a push, you get the zombie upfield, you get the you can stand the flesh golem up with the stand firm to mark the... It seemed worthwhile. To risk a 1 and 36 to get two more players active. The drive. And again, this is a guy who learned his marking from the AI and decided that you need to put... That one Tomb Guardian on a Strength 3 player is enough, so he put all of the Tomb Guardians on the Ghoul. Because Overmark is the guy who has the dodge skill. Jim is still tilted even after winning two games of not trying Necro. Oh, he's, uh... Someone... Barely plays Blood Bowl. I actually come out with the Cyber Police. Frenzy Trap, let's go. Oh yeah! <laughs> hey, look at that! A Frenzy Trap that just rolled POWs. It's like Frenzy Traps are shit or something, it never worked. Over half the time. No, he's gonna kill Cheney. He's just. Without, without the okay, mighty blood player, you use the rando. Okay. Bins. Pursuing of serfs. It's just not. Oh, but this is gonna happen just all of the time. I don't know, base of the Tomb Guardian or something. To be fair, the opponent hasn't actually faced any consequences for the serfs. As they've had a Kaz that was turned into a... Uh, it's been totally fine, so... It hasn't like impacted his team in the long term for the game. It's just basically turned this defense into a joke, which... is going to be based on how he was playing to begin with. Thing over block. 
rule now that he has three with, and it actually works. I I can't. Isn't so bad on players that don't have loner, or the risk that you're having instead of block. While with loners, you really do want to drop that. Zombie stunned, but it doesn't actually matter. And unfortunate. How many people rolled double skulls against this team? This is, <laughs> this is kind disgusting. Of ridiculous. Norse team. How many was it? Was it three or four times they rolled double skulls? At least three, maybe four. It had, but they also had like three one and nines, like straight both down, both downs too. It was. It was disgusting. Brilliant, but... Oh, he got the knockdown. But now he can't dodge out. So he takes the... Now let's count squares. Get the follow-up. It's okay. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Theoretically, could have with two GFIs blitz and surfed his ball carrier. Not if he wants it. GFI. So it's not happening. Looking at doing it. But I might be wrong. Hopefully. But he's not going to get knocked down, because, hey, Lodge is too good. Guardian. But he didn't roll. He needed to roll a POW to do it. Got the both down for the knockdown, but he was double marked. And to get the, like, the one in three chance of rolling a straight POW against the dodge player. Out of uh, dodge. Which honestly, I might have still gone for it because you've got two rerolls and one turn, and you're not going to one turn. So like, what the fuck's the? Why not? Just why not go for it? I'm going to have to leave the, the stream silent for a little bit or let Jim actually talk because I need to make lunch, use the bathroom, and let a cat outside. Okay, okay. Thanks very much, Squirrel Dude, for being my wingman. <laughs> you can be my wingman anytime. No, of course not, Valenic. I mean, I could one in nine and then I've got to dodge out as well and it's just... Surfer maximum be a. I I think I would take strength six in the guardian just because a higher if you were going to hire TV then um, you know you want a strength a strength six guard would be really hard for club pawn to even one dice and then you might get a block later anyway might you? I think I'd probably go strength. I don't know. Oh, the Woody game went terribly, Lemon is good. <laughs> Absolutely worst possible. 
Oh, cool. I think one one again with him first. But then <laughs> had the misfortune. <laughs> can't really. Then I had the misfortune to face Merlock Joe's human. And uh, he caused like four cas in the first four turns. So it was tough. And he used a wizard and got the ball. Then I got the ball back, scored. But had to score early. And then I, I misplayed my turn two defence, which let him score, which was terrible. So now it's 1 1 and he's receiving. And he makes another Kaz. Which is a per another perm, so I think if I apo this perm, then I can concede. Because I've had five players left. If I didn't apo that, that player would have died, and then I would have, you know, only had five players in the pitch. So I wasn't going to draw. No, there was no way. I, I mean, sorry, I wasn't going to win. I could have maybe drawn, but there was no way I was going to win. So I thought, fuck it. And I was pretty much pissed off that I just played the two turn defence. If I played the turn two defence, he would have had to get pretty lucky to score. Uh, but I fucked it up. Lucky line woman. Probably strength. It depends what your objective of the team was. If it was to like go to high TV eventually, then I think strength. Because they're, you know, the, what's it called, Zons. Really, uh... We need stats, don't we? Oh shit, he's got another turn. Oh fuck, shit, Mr. Lowe. Dodge. <laughs> I like how the second I start talking to chat, I miss it. Sperm. I pulled the perm. Permanent injury. Yeah, putting the way in here, but it's a VIP by case. It's something I'll always do. I mean, different on turn 16. I mean, there was a payoff to certain in that turn. I would never do it on turn 16. Um, I could have done it on turn 8. I mean, it was. It might have been the. It might have been the play as well. Did no damage despite surfing half his team. players now, isn't there? Thanks to fucking chain you. Gotta let him smash a go. Pretty bad master foul. 19 1 2 now. Had to concede to avoid positionals dying. I didn't have to concede. I did concede. So now I've probably committed about another fucking eight games within probably another two days even. I'll have to play them all day tomorrow. I mean, I've, I've closed two fucking. I'm still too fucking. I'm too salty to be playing right now. I'm still too salty to be playing, which is why it was really good that Squirrel Dude did the talking because I couldn't. I couldn't talk either because I'm too salty. <laughs> I'm really mega salty because just because I've just fucked it up so badly, I think that's that's the key thing. Oh wow, you would like clock then. I just fucked it up so bad. <laughs> I 
I imagine, uh, I imagine Anarchy Ladder is... I think Open Ladder should have Anarchy Ladder. I don't think Anarchy Ladder should exist. Because you've got... You've got bloody... You've got Open, so why isn't... Anarchy and Open? Why not? Why even add a feature if you're not going to use it, you know? Like, they... they, they someone at Cyanide thought... You know it would be a good use of money to fucking make mixed teams that will somebody in the office or someone on the internet or whatever, some some fucking, oh my god. Do you know what? Why even have reserves when you just take fucking three removals on turn one of a drive every fucking drive? Um, this is this is why Wood Elves are so good, aren't they? Because although I took four cars in the first four turns versus uh, fucking Murloc Joe. At least I had players that could do something. Now I'm just left with fucking shithead zombies that can't do fuck all. Uh, you know, so someone thought at Cyanide, this is a really good use of our money. We, we'll, we'll fucking pull these mixed race teams out of our asses, and then we'll split the already thin player base further to get them to play them. Like, how fucking dumb is it? So it's so dumb. It should have been obviously an open. I don't know why. Why even have an open division at this point? I think open's fine. It allows coaches to get a chance to learn how to play the game without having to face like super competitive or concede restrictions, and it doesn't matter. I think it would be hard if you had to like play like shorts with fucking gutter runners. <laughs> no. 11 strength 4 players with Fort with Lizard and Source and Black Orcs. But I'm, I'm not saying... I'm saying once you've decided to make them well, you know? That's just an argument for not having them in the game, isn't it? You know? What you're saying there is... Don't fucking make them. I don't think Anarchy splits it. I mean, Anarchy doesn't have like a player base, so it doesn't appear to actually be splitting the player base at all. Yeah. I think it's if you're gonna have the feature, you need to have a place to play them. So I don't. So what I you're saying is it shouldn't have been made because obviously it shouldn't. Be. What a fucking waste of money it was. Why? Why even make I have these fucking it. races that no one's gonna fucking these teams that no one's gonna fucking use ever? It's just fucking stupid, isn't it? Oh, put I think it the in issue open. is that a they were too modern on it, and they decided to not make. They decided to give you like preset races as opposed to just being like pick any players you want, which would have been more interesting. Yeah. Mm. I think it's fine to have an additional feature. They needed to have something that actually made Legendary Edition stand out. Yeah. So, it's fine, and it gives people options if they want to use it. Like, I mean, it's like hey play Ogres without 70k reroll bullshit, or mm -hmm. play Nurgle without having to pay 70k reroll for rerolls for no reason, or play Vampires without having to play pay 70k for rerolls for no reason. Yeah. So at least lets you balance teams. Um, well, I don't hate it. I think it's fine. Yeah, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'd rather have like obviously something than nothing. But I just think it wasn't a good business decision unless you're gonna force people to use them or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, I mean, it's just I should should stop talking. But thanks. For, now that you're back, I can. So, cheers. <laughs> I'll hand you over the scroll, you dude. Our abandoning consoles decided, hey. Let's bring consoles back and not do crossplay. Gonna horrendously split our player base that way, right? This is a. Uh, and it's terrible, but. To actually leverage that problem. Now, he could, like, Cheney get a block, but then he just goes into a frenzy trap. Like, there's nothing. Jim can really do to actually punish this cage because he doesn't have any of the strength players. Or to actually limit Jim's ability to do anything about the situation. Like, it's just going to be based, and then and then what? Who does Jim does has like a bunch of negative two dice blocks. He doesn't have anything that he can really do.
dodge, finally not overpowered. Oh, that's a shame. And it could have one diced him and then chained the mighty ball away, so I could have got 2D on the ball. Meh. Oh. <laughs> Pull Tony. Oh, wow. Just. Just everyone just rolls skulls against this team. Even if like they get they get a million cas on turn one and they just roll skulls. Just <laughs> yeah. roll skulls. Doesn't matter. Just skulls, 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 skulls. Well, Tony, I wouldn't talk about Rocket Cars, but Rocket League does have crossplay, so that is infinite removals. Um, it's the most. This is this is Camry, so it wars this is a tie. Um. Pows. Um, crossplay between PS4 and PC, PS4 and Nintendo, Nintendo and PC, Xbox and PC, Xbox and Nintendo. It's for Nintendo and then Xbox, PC, and Nintendo can all work together, so. There is precedent for it, but yes, it is rare. Still think they should. Have, I still think they should have pursued it. Then they Xbox to PC and PS4 to PC. I think it would have benefited all environments. They're able to serve half of teams' players, and all of them come back, and they just randomly cas your entire team. played shit and get like doubly rewarded. It's not that you just, they get to come back and as a tough drive it's just like, ah, we're gonna come back and kill your entire team. A good random foul, um, because the ball isn't secure. Man, negative two dice block. Just protecting the ghoul. Jim looks like he's trying to drive here for the next whatever happens. If the Camry wants to get a tie. All the opportunity to win, you know, more power to him. Faho, it's always a bit of a delicate balance for the company because they're having to both um, create something for Legendary Edition that makes people who don't already own the game, who I'm sorry, who already own the game, a reason to purchase it that they wouldn't normally have, be bug fixes because those shouldn't be part of the expansion. That would be absurd. That would be hideously consumer unfriendly to say, "Hey, you want bug fixes, please." Um, more customers than it would gain them. They had to do something to get it, and mixed teams seems like a decent way. I just don't think they were radical enough. I think they should just made allowed you to buy it. Want. Instead, they tried to do themes, which, you know, 
Um, it's, it's not ideal. down his players he's gonna dodge the ghoul away probably run the white away and let the um Steam overlay is the most common reason for that one because I'd forgotten it, but now that they're bringing people are bringing it up, I remember. But that's happened to me a couple of times. I think everyone's had it happen to them a couple of times. And two bug that's kind of hard to figure out. If I zombies, man, Jim doesn't reroll a random GFI from a zombie to end the turn. Easy. Who could? Who would do that? Trying to lose. That's interesting. Yeah, he's big rest and betting that no one wakes up, and he's trying for a win against you know Wilhelm stays out. Um, he stays in the defense because I would be more aggressive and just all men's. Nope, Definitely. he's gonna do this weird shit two turn defense again. Okay, don't know why. <laughs> it didn't work out for him at all last time, but he's gonna he's gonna do it again. <laughs> Be way more aggressive with my tomb guardians at this point. At least have at least have the strength six guy on the LOS. Be wanting to take LOS blocks to get players up the field anyway, but like. He needs to be denying more space than what he is. Very attractive defense. It looks, you know, it's like two eyes and a mouth. So, flavor, he's like doing a skeleton head. Kind of <laughs> shit skeleton head, but, you know, it's there. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. A shit skeleton head. Bugs aren't fixed, but your opponent's AFK, so it doesn't matter. Always lovely. Blitz anybody. Well, defense is working. You've got like. You're just gonna have to hit random guys and pick up the ball and move up the field.
how we're I'm not keen on doing offset offenses usually, especially against, but against Camry, who are, who decided that they're going to not have any threat to you on a perf, on a, um, basically it would require perfect defense to do what they should have done in the first place. It's probably fine. But you don't want to go on the left side against the, um, Strength 6 mummy, but I think that's still the weaker side as opposed to the Blodge, uh, and the Block Mighty Blow, and the... Body blow guard, uh, Tomb Guardians. I feel like it's still the strong, the easier side to go up against. <laughs> Finally punished for do for his vanity passes. Needed. Needed Wilhelm out there. Wilhelm's got catch. Would have definitely worked. Action one and nine blitz. Been like you know uh, one and twenty-seven or do that, but instead he did it with strength five for strength six for. Oh, first action one and nine to, to GFI. Okay. GFIs from other Tomb Garden? Is he just base? No. no. He didn't want. He doesn't want a GFI now. He's he's scared. He's sco too spooky. In the first half, after keeping all his men in the back, he's like, "Oh, now that I can base all men's, like I could have before. Let's let's go base." He takes the one thirty-six block. Doesn't do it. It never works. Pickle here. On base always feels good. Until they like until the zombies die, but if like three turns that they're alive, it's pretty great. Jody 4 is overpowered. But these like greedy handoff plays and random KO actually freed up and that way means the zombie's gonna run down ghoul's probably gonna run back gonna run away undead are just gonna run away now because movement is broken and too good managed to overcommit and ace one player with three guys
he could still go for like the one, two, three. You need a oh, here it is. First action, one and nine with the strength six, not the punished. Get banged on. Like, for the record, there were multiple... He had a block with a block that he could have taken. That he could have done to free up that hole the same way. Without having to use... Without having to, A, go into the stand firm player, which required a POW. So, there were better options to create that hole, as opposed to the terrible, terrible one he chose. Guardian will die. Nah, he's fine. Uh, this Necro team has gotten a lot of gifts from Nuffle. Coaches do seem to roll a whole lot of skulls against them. For what, like, if you're Norse, you roll double skulls. If you're triple skulls and one in eighty ones, so I'm ready to be like four and zero when they're playing two hundred team value down. Oh no! But does Jim reroll it? Jim actually rerolls it. He is. He's not gonna have two rerolls. First action blitz with the strength six player again. The strength six guy, or has he learned his lesson that he should maybe use the block mighty blue mummy that he's had this entire game? That's so good and he should use. The tomb guardians that don't have block. Actually blitzes with block mighty blow finally. And not dead. Test the game. He's still going to level up and not die, which is a really, really stunning result. Because as we all know, cools as soon as they get knocked down ever are just instantly dead. Out of this game with what looks like three level ups, potentially four, depending on who gets the MVP with a werewolf, a white, and a level up. And hopefully, the ghoul, you know, the, were the white will actually take guard and not instantly take mighty blow. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the reflex, the reflex mighty blow thing is fun, Having a controlled mighty blow block is pretty good and it accelerates his development, and it was pretty useful that game. Yeah. But, uh, Necros. Yeah, it is good. It is good having Mighty Blow. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Oh, wow, another MVP for the Fleshy. He's a badass. Jim, for the fifth straight game in a, in a row, K or 60k away from getting a Flush Golem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dodge. Now he's a good dog, isn't he, with agility four blood. Now he can take like tackle or roll doubles and get mighty blow for all we it doesn't matter, he's just gonna be good. Sidestep I think Actually, Jim. more more you know Herbalises. interesting things. Safer surfs, yeah. Yeah, sideline. Sideline play. I'm not allowed to surf no I'm gonna <laughs> You gotta surf with Necro. The next player you get with 110k is the fleshy 
the werewolf? That's the question, isn't it? Now that you have one werewolf who is very, very good and developed. Yeah, now that now that there is a good wolf, yeah. Pro hopefully it can skill the other ghoul. And then uh, there'll be two skilled up ghouls and then, you know, there'll be space for a project player, which will be the rookie dog, I guess. And the name of the team is Dogs Not Dog, so, you know. I think it's funny just randomly going five and zero without even trying in any game. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Being if down you team value, so clearly, like and subscribe. You know, and stay being down fantastic. team value doesn't impact you.